Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So, who wants to live forever? Human lifespan may be extended indefinitely within two decades. Indefinitely means you never ever going to die. Okay, so which also means you're never going to get sick either from the sounds of things because we're talking nanotechnology to help um, make this happen. Um, right now, in the present state, of technologies is focused primarily on warding off negative effects of aging in therapeutic ways. The end result may be something once um, relegated to science fiction according to this article here. So um, you know I mean we, we've been wanting to live longer and longer all the time right and um, so here it uh, just a little bit I'm gonna read you a little bit here and there. I believe we will reach a point around 2029 when medical technologies will add one additional year, okay, to every year of your life expectancy. But that, I don't mean life expectancy based on your birthday, but rather your remaining life expectancy, whatever that could be. It could be a week for all we know, right? Hey, you never know. Um, he said during a recent interview, okay, now they're talking about using nanobots, okay, so nanotechnology. Okay, to the complete the job of the immune system. Because our immune system fights off so many uh, illnesses, etc. to a certain point. Then you talk about using nanotechnology to, to take over where the human body basically fails in, right? Because our bodies are not 100%. So we're talking about 100% efficiency here, basically. Um, now, I think this is actually going to cause sterility issues, too. Um, now, we already have over 7 billion people on the planet. By 2029, we'll probably be around 8 or 9 billion people. Who the hell knows, right? Um, now, for years, we've always been worried about the population control issue uh, because, hey, look at food sources. We're cloning animals now just to still eat. So if you're immortal, now what? What, what happens when we run out of food? And you can only clone a, an animal so many times or even cloning a human, for example, so many times before the, it degrades to the point where you just it becomes useless and you can't do it anymore. So they're also talking in here too about combining AI technology, so robots and humans, okay? So basically downloading your consciousness into a robot. Well, even a robot can't last forever. Power sources, parts supply, I mean, come on. I mean, we're all basically machines. Uh, I mean, humans are biological machines, robots are man-made machines. Of course, you we all know the movie Terminator, right? Um, machine making machines and all that other jazz. Oh, it gets so wonderful, doesn't it, folks? So I think that even in, in the short uh, haul here, if we do achieve uh, some form of immortality uh, still being in our own bodies, um, I think it's going to cause a sterility issue. That would be the first thing because things become way too pure, right? Um, remember the movie The Boy in the Plastic Bubble? What happened to him when he come out of the bubble, right? You know, that's not a good thing. So you, you introduce any kind of um, disease to something that's purified, you got a problem. And our planet's anything but pure. So the realism of immortality with us uh, not in this planet, I don't think. Um, but who knows? You never know, right? That's the thing. Um, now, like I said, I'm not against living forever, but it's definitely going to come with its downsides. Um, that's definitely going to be a for sure thing. And I think one of the biggest downsides for the human race is, like I said, the food problem. You know, we already have problems as it is. This is just going to increase it that much more. But the advantage is if it does create sterility, we won't be populating the earth any further. So it'll be at a standstill. So, but how much longer can life be sustained on this planet, even if the population rate, say, gets halted via sterility from being immortal, um, you know, at seven or eight or nine or ten billion people? How, how long can we last? And, and, you know, as immortality goes, I mean... I think you still would have to eat. You know, you couldn't really get rid of the food thing because you're still going to get hungry, you know, and, unless they cut that gene off or something uh, that controls that in the body, uh, which means a whole lot of other things that just won't happen anymore in the human body if you're actually immortal. Because the movies are kind of like 
you know, total BS. I mean, talk about Highlander, right? The only way they can die is you chop off their head. Well, maybe that'll be the same for us. Or maybe if we do chop off an immortal's head, maybe the guy will just keep running around with no head, kind of like the headless horseman, right? Um, th this is... Um, I think some of this is far-fetched. I think some of it is probably, it does make a lot of sense. I mean, if they add an extra year for every year of what's left of your life expectancy already, okay, sure, that sounds pretty good. So now, you know, if I was predestined to die at 75, now I might, um, you know, and right now I'm, you know, in my 40s. So yeah, I might only get an extra 30 years or 40 years, you know, um, but they're talking about indefinitely within two decades. So, you know, extending your life forever, you know, like that's just craziness. Um, you know, I, I, no, I'm not saying it can't happen. I mean, uh, I watch a little bit of sci-fi myself and I'm definitely not one for believing half the shit that's on TV. Okay. But the show Through the Wormhole, they talked about this immortality thing. And, and one of the things that were mentioned was about getting rid of the, the gene that causes aging to begin with. Because our bodies have a natural decay rate as it is. Our cells break down, etc. I mean, it's one thing to slow them down to extend aging, but to completely put them to a dead halt. Now, that's definitely going to be an immortality issue. Okay, now, will this um, wonderful technology be available only to the, to the elite? Oh, more than likely. So either way, most of the population is going to be dead anyways. Um, and any of us that could afford it, you know, uh, if they do make it affordable for everybody, uh, which we probably know that it won't happen, but if, okay, that ever happened, um, yeah, you still got, like I said, the same problem. You got over 7 billion people already, you know. You halt the entire um, universe from causing aging in the human body. We're done for one way or another. But that's just my opinion and thoughts. What are your opinions and thoughts, guys? Do you think this thing, this is something we should be screwing with or not? Um, you know? Anyways, um, I'm going to have the link to this article uh, in the description of the video so that you can go and read the entire article, what they're talking about here. I found it to be very interesting. thought I'd share it with you guys and my thoughts on it. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely kind of interesting. That, that's for sure. So we'll uh, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.